Hey guys, welcome to another one of these videos where I talk to you and you listen. Aren't you excited? Aren't you ready to click on my dumb face? I hope you are, because at least today we're talking about fun, good, exciting things across the board. Um, where do we begin? Obviously the biggest thing to talk about today, first and foremost, is Indie Land. So for those of you guys who don't know what Indie Land is or what we did during Indie Land or what the event was all about, it was a 30 hour live stream on August 25th and 26th on twitch.tv slash the completionist. And it was a bunch of me and my friends and various game developers and special guest celebrities that came by and we raised money for the Open Hand Foundation. The Open Hand Foundation is a organization my father and I started. It is an official 501c3 nonprofit organization. We founded it in honor of my mom. My mom got uh, frontotemporal dementia when I was 10 years old, and uh, we've been raising money ever since to help try and find um, research and treatment development stuff for um, all all forms of dementia. And this was uh, this was our very first charity event we've ever done, really, uh, since I started my career on YouTube. And uh, wow, <laughs> it really blew me away with all the good that we did. To give you an idea, our goal was $25,000, and before nine hours even hit during the stream, we hit that goal. And our goal, when we hit $25,000, was I was going to complete a game uh, at the audience's disposal that they wanted me to play. Those who donated got to vote. And I'm happy to announce that the game that I will be completing based on everyone's donations and voting results is Hollow Knight. I can't believe that an indie game during Indie Land was nominated as the game for me to complete, which I'm very excited for. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with Hollow Knight. And for those of you wondering, the second place uh, contender was Octopath Traveler. So that's that's how close it was. It was a pretty close um, race. Uh, but what was even cooler about all this was that uh, we, we, we not only crushed our $25,000 goal, we in fact doubled it. Our final amount for Indie Land, all the money tally and everything together, was $55,102. That is the final results from Indie Land. So thank you once again to all of our special guests. Um, Grant Kirkhope came by and he waxed Octopimp while he was singing the DK rap. Jamie the Curtis showed up and gave away a bunch of awesome exclusive items from the set of her new Halloween film, which by the way, uh, that's coming out in a couple of weeks, so get ready for that. Terry Farrell from Star Trek showed up. Terry fucking Farrell from Star Trek. Like what, what happened at Indyland was an insane spectacle that uh, I am so honored and humbled and happy that it happened. All of the other YouTubers, all the guests, it was an incredible time. A big thank you to all the game devs and studios that gave us codes for all different kinds of games, including games from Bandai Namco, 11-Bit Studios, Retro Interactive, SMG Studio, Elden Pixels, Heart Machine, all of the awesome game codes from Chrono.gg, and of course, my good pal Pat the NES Punk, who gave us codes for his book, The Ultimate NES Guidebook. But uh, once again, thank you to everyone who donated money. Thank you to Jamie Lee Curtis, um, Grant Kirkhope, um, some of the cast of Life is Strange, so many more guests, Yacht Club Games for Shovel Knight. It was an awesome time. For those of you who donated, we gave away over 150 game codes as well as over like 30 or 40 physical prizes um, that are unique to the event. If you donated uh, $10 or more, you got entered into a raffle. So if you check your PayPal, if you did donate, uh, you may you if you check your PayPal email, the email associated to your PayPal, you may have won something. So be sure to check your PayPal's. Uh, if you didn't, uh, just know that your money went to a great cause, and we really appreciate you and everything. And uh, I think over at the end of the day, we had over a hundred thousand unique viewers who came and watched Indie Land. Um, we went. We, we were not on the front page of Twitch. We didn't have any corporate sponsors. We didn't have anything. All we had was you guys at home watching. And uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, according to her, said Indie Land Two is happening next year. So uh, she said it. So it has to happen. So we'll see you next year for Indie Land Two. It's going to be. I don't know how we can go bigger and better, but all I know is that we're going to get a chef. 
that's the promise. We're gonna get a chef and a couch. Those are the two. Jamie the Curse asked for a chef and a couch, so we're gonna make it happen. We can't necessarily. All right, we'll. But we'll figure it out. We have a year to. We have one year to figure out how to get a chef for Jamie the Curtis and a nice couch. We can do it. I believe in us, Internet. <laughs> Let's do it. Hashtag Jamie Lee Chef Couch. We'll make it work. Next up on this weird ass, personal ass, vlog ass video, I'm gonna be talking about Normal Boots. So Normal Boots is back, in case you didn't know, I'm plugging it again, bitches, cause Normal Boots is great. I love my friends over there. I love hanging out with my friends. I love making videos with my friends. Guys, we have three series happening all the time on Normal Boots. World Within Worlds, uh, which is a video essay series by Continue and uh, and Lee. We got Madness, which is our, our weekly show that happens all the freaking time. Uh, and we got Digital Movies on the weekend. A bunch of guests planned for season two of Madness and season three. Uh, I was on season one to talk about the best N64 games ever and uh, the best 90s cartoons is up next, followed by the best PS1 games ever. So if you want to check out Normal Boots, please check it out. YouTube.com slash Normal Boots. It's a great time. We're having a great time. What's really cool about the whole thing is that it's all of us together on one channel at the same time. You know, I'm really excited to see where Madness takes us and really where Normal Boots takes us as a whole. Cause you know what's coming up next? More merch, tours, and, and all that fun stuff. So thank you. Watch Normal Boots, youtube.com slash Normal Boots. A lot of our shows and productions, I mean, you guys know if, if you're paying attention to the channel, we do eight videos a month here, whether it be a top 10, Defend It, um, you know, this new Completionist DLC show, the, you know, The Completionist, um, we're always putting out content and we're always working hard and none of that would be possible uh, had it not be for all of the awesome folks over at Patreon. Uh, our Patreon is something that I'm not the best at talking about, mostly because I feel like everyone has a Patreon and you've heard it a lot and you've heard the word Patreon and you're over it and you just want to pirate all those episodes of The Completionist and put them on Pornhub and don't act like you haven't because I've seen them and the comments are really sad. So let's try to put some cheer over there, okay guys? Patreon is a great place that we've been growing and nurturing as a community and um, you know, for both Patreon and GameWiz, which is our support system over at Super Beard Bros, we want to try and, and spice things up. We want to try and bring more options to the table, more more ways to support, and more ways to include you guys in on the fun. Uh, and so I'm really happy to announce that we have some new upgrades to the current tiers over at Patreon, uh, but one of the coolest ones that we've created, which is one that I thought would be a reoccurring thing, is that we actually gonna give you guys at home who support us on Patreon the possibility of being in a completionist episode each and every week. It's gonna be a fun, creative thing where you can send in an audio clip or a voice clip or even a video of yourself, and we might use that footage. Uh, mind you, uh, to be eligible, you have to sign up for that tier, and then we're gonna kind of organize based on who's been in them before and who wants to be in them now, and depending on the game and all that stuff. So, um, Come check us out, support us on Patreon. Every little bit counts. Uh, you may have noticed that we're not doing a lot of brand deals that year. And I think it's because all the brands hate me. So, you know, Take shout out to all the brands out there that, that hate on the haters. What's up? Let's take it back. What's up? Let's take it back. No, we're keeping it. No. Don't don't edit this out. Please edit this Yo, out. Yo, Brands, why do you hate me? Why you better be a hater? Don't be a hater. Bradley, don't you Don't do use this. all of this, Bradley. The haters need to know that uh, if you want to support the show, uh, check us out on Patreon.com. Uh, and if you're a big brand, you can also support us. We would love your help. Um, I'd like to make a new cool set. Uh, HyperX or whoever you are, Starbucks. I'll take Starbucks. So if you want to support, <laughs> if you want. <laughs> um, but more importantly, um, the channel is doing well. Super Beer Bros is doing well. I don't want to say this is the year of the completionist because it's like a weird thing to say. Hashtag rip year of Luigi. But this year has been our most successful year. It's just nonstop. We're going to hit a million subscribers in a couple of weeks. And that's, that's something special. That's something so freaking cool. We might even hit a million subs on the eighth anniversary of the show. So that's like, that's, that's just wild. That is so insane. You know, Indie Land, million subs, eight years of the completionist, almost 300 games completed, and so much stuff in between. I think it's been a wild ride 
And if I had to do it again, I would, I would do it over and over and over again. Um, my health's on the line because I'm crazy. But I have some of the coolest friends on planet Earth. I'm making some of the most fun things ever. And more importantly, uh, I have all of you guys now. Friends, fans, family. It's all kind of there in one cool thing. When you put yourself into doing something all the time, nonstop, you kind of feel like you're going nowhere fast and that no one kind of cares. But if you take a step back and you're like, I, I did this, we did this. It's a really cool feeling. And uh, I hope all of you guys feel like you've been a part of the journey because you most certainly have. Uh, with that said, thank you all for watching. Um, thank you for Indie Land. Thank you for all the support. Have some really cool, exciting surprises left before the year is up. So as always, see you guys soon. Bye. My wife. I don't know why it's funny. Everyone, I, get, I got yelled at the other way for, for being inconsiderate to Kazakhstan people, but I just think Borat's funny. I'm sorry. I'm the one guy. 2007 was a funny year. I was there. It was funny. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.